welcome to Bang Time. I'm down here on the fantastic Burfield Blue Pool, um, part of the Burfield complex. Um, I'm literally past the camera looking at Burfield Main Lake, home uh, of the Burfield Common. And uh, this little lake here is the Blue Pool. Um, behind this one is a lake called Gold Lake, um, but Gold, Gold and Blue Pool, both available for uh, private hire. You can um, do exclusive lake bookings, and that's that's what I've done um, with a couple of my mates. And uh, it's prime time. They haven't spawned yet. Um, they, funny enough, have started spawning today on the Burfield Main Lake. But because of the depths of this one, um, this is usually a good few weeks behind. So. Um, we're going to be fishing for some of these uh, big girls at some of the top weights, so uh, I'm pretty excited. It's a lake that I've fished a fair bit over, over the last four or five, six years. Um, 28.2 uh, mirror is the biggest fish I've had here. Um, it's absolutely fantastic fish, but I've, I've had plenty of fish um, over over the years. So the guys I'm fishing with and um, the, the, the groups that we brought down here, so um, I'm pretty excited really. Um, I'm in peg 20 at the moment, fishing to um, the kind of tree line margin um, by 21. Um, I did start off in peg one, um, but although there was fish in there, I, I just felt a little bit claustrophobic and I, it, this is just a, a nice swim because you can get to look at the entire lake. Um, again, it's only a couple of weeks past lockdown, so we're basically all taking the approach that, that the lakes have been fed quite heavily on pellet during lockdown while no anglers have been on putting in boilies and pellets and spob mixes and whatever else they're chucking in um, so they're going to be used to feeding on pellet and, and kind of feeding quite heavy on pellet so um, we've bought a big old bag of pellet and uh, I've got some uh, um, mistral um, crab boilies um, which I'm going to kind of cube um, so they look a bit like a pellet and, and, and just yeah give it a go and the good thing about this this side of the lake um, which is known as the Burfield Bank uh, the margins are so deep and clear um, that you know during the day you can really kind of drop a bit drop a few pellets in into the swims along there and just kind of walk up and down um, during the day and see if, if the fish have been on it and uh, that's something I'll be doing so uh, yeah really chuffed to be here let's see what happens there we go 29 pound on the nose and uh, it's the second biggest UK fish I've ever caught um, keep struggling to hit the 30 mark um, but what an absolute beast um, one of my favorite all-time captures of any species anywhere uh, oh yeah single um, squared off um, boily um, cast into the middle of nowhere really a pub chuck probably the least effort I've ever put into a fish um, but look at that it's paid off I knew they were in the area and I knew they were feeding and what a result let's get him back yes Right, I'm absolutely over the moon with that fish. Um, to, to kind of put it in perspective, it's my second biggest UK fish ever. So um, yeah, I, I think most people that watch watches anything I've done, um, either this or back of the landing net or, or just follows Instagram, uh, well no, I've never caught a UK 30. Um, I've, I've, I've had so many fish that have come very close. Um, but then I'm, I'm also somebody that's, that's not overly bothered about weights. Um, yeah, it's nice, nice to get a PB, but I certainly don't go out trying to catch um, PB fish or big fish. It's any fish, really. Um, but, but you know, um, that that 29 pounder um, 
today is, is pretty special to be honest. Like I say, I've been fishing this place a lot over the last few years and uh, yeah, that's that's a nice fish, really nice fish. I'm really happy to be off the mark. Um, the other guys that I'm fishing with, um, they've, they've had one each now, um, so I'll just show you those. So yeah, all, all in all, not, not a bad start to the session. Um, as I was saying earlier, um, that, that was caught on an Arctic crab um, pop-up and uh, the pellets we bought, I'll show you them there. They're big old beasts, they're, they're 14 mil um, kind of high oil halibut pellets um, from Coppins and uh, the reason we've got those is because they're very similar to the pellets that they've been feeding them with um, in the lake so we, we wanted to match it up as much as possible. Um, at this time of year, kind of pre pre post spawning, it's, it's good to fish with a lot of pellet anyway. Um, I always find um, fishy baits and pellets this time of year work quite well for me. And uh, yeah, nice nice start to the session. Um, about to go into the night now. Um, just just set all the rods up. Got it all ready. I've got some um, on the spots down the tree line, and uh, a couple kind of tucked in, literally under the rod tips. Um, so. Yeah, fingers crossed we have something, um, but if not, uh, I'll update you in the morning. But Oh yeah, um, got a new um, bivvy, Nash Titan. Um, the uh, the one that's got the kind of built-in, um, all-in-one sealed kind of unit. What is it, the T1? I don't know, I'm, I'm rubbish, I'm rubbish with things. I think it's the Titan T1, I'm sure it is. Um, but I wanted something that, <laughs> It sounds stupid, but I don't like rats. And um, the last few times I've been fishing, I've had rats in the bivvy. Um, so I've got this and it completely seals up. It's got a built-in ground sheet. Um, the space in it is unbelievable. Um, got a couple of vents at the back. So it's, it's quite a warm, sticky day today. So that, that's been quite nice. So um, that, which is like an early birthday treat for me, um, birthday in two days. It will have been my birthday by the time this goes out, to be fair. So, pop a message down, say happy birthday, innit? Show some respect. Um, <laughs> um, but, but yeah, to, to have, have my night in that, have that fish, winning. I'm um, just going to get myself something to eat now and uh, catch up with the other guys, see how they're getting on. But, but yeah, fingers crossed we have something else out. Happy days. Right, right, you know, um, I said that I've been kind of feeding up all of these swims along the uh, Burfield Bank. Well, I'm down here on um, Peg 18. And I've just put my rod in there now and brought a net over. And um, just the right hand side where that net is, um, the bait's been cleared out every single time. It's a couple of two, three times now. And so I've just stood in there with my glasses on and, and I've just seen um, quite a sizable mirror, um, I'd say a good mid-20 mirror, um, and an even bigger common carp um, coming in and out. And they look like they're kind of skulking about, looking for a bit of food. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't, you know, it's hard to read carp, carp faces, body language, but I think that's what I think that's what they were doing, to be honest. Um, so what, what I've done is I've just, literally um, reeled the rod um, right up so it's even the leaders through the eyelets I've literally just got my lead my, my rig my PVA bag um, hanging out and I've just pushed it in under the tree line there and then let go so it's dropped and then carefully pulled it back um, and just back leaded it there so the line is kind of off 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 the bottom it's pinned down it's all nice and tidy and uh, just chucked a couple of handfuls of pellet over it and uh, fingers crossed but that's that's um that's the first real sign of any kind of fish i've seen today really so uh yeah that that common's pushing pushing 30 i've honestly um that it's so deep these margins are so deep that it, yeah it's a unit so uh yeah that'd be a nice fish but obviously that, that mirror down there looks really nice as well. I'll take anything, I'll take anything. Beggars cannot be choosing, I'm not a beggar. There we go, uh, 27 pound, seven ounces, and I think that's the best brace of fish I've ever had in the session. 
Uh, can't believe it, I took this one um, half a rod length out in the margin and uh, it ripped off after about 10 minutes, after quite a bit of time without a bite. So, um, absolutely delighted with this one. What a beast. Absolutely love this lake, always have done. And uh, yet again, a very, very special fish. Yes. Oh. Right, I just wanted to tell you something about the blue pool. Um, so it's about four acres in size. Um, it can be booked by up to 10 anglers. Um, we've, we've used um, like smaller groups and larger groups, um, but it's, it's always the kind of fish quite well. Uh, it's quite famous for its uh, margin fishing. Uh, it's got a, a really, really good stock of old British carp, um, good head of 20s. There's a good sprinkler of 30s in there as well. Um, and you, you never know, so every now and again it throws up a little surprise too. But yeah, absolutely stunning venue. Glad to be here. Belter. Look at that. What a fish. It's 20 pounds, 10 ounces of Burfield Beauty. And uh, it's come, well, just as the light's fading, really. A nice little sunset going on there. And uh, once again on the Arctic Crab, spread a pellets around it in the margin. Can't get better than this, really. Um, I don't know, last time I fished here I blanked and it was off the back of six or seven blanks and it was a pretty low time in my fishing life but this session has been one of the highs for sure. Um, absolutely back in love with it and uh, how can you not be, you know, sessions like this, eh? Um, sun shining, everything's good. Let's get them back. Yes. I've got a couple of little tips for you, um, just in case you find yourself fishing down here. Um, practicality, really. Um, the ground is like concrete at the moment, so it's unavoidable um, to use a mallet to get the bivvy pegs in. It is literally unavoidable. Um, we wouldn't do it otherwise. Um, so be prepared to um, have your fishing wiped out for a couple of hours um, while, you, while that's happening. And um, nets, slings and mats are provided. Um, there's, the, there's a code um, to get into the lock to, to access those when you get here. Uh, also worth remembering that there's a couple of swan families and a couple of geese family here and they do like to clean you out on the margin so do try and find that extra deep bit um, because they do, it's nothing worse than hearing a couple of beeps, getting excited and then seeing a swan arse up over your spot. But um, yeah. What a place, what a place. Right, it's the very early hours of the last morning now. There's about an hour um, left of the session, so I wanted to run by all of the fish that have been caught, really. Um, so Kai um, down in peg one, um, he's had two carp. He also caught a tench as well, didn't get a picture of that, but it was about uh, four, four pounds in size. Now, my friend Ian Hilton, um, who's been fishing uh, quarter corner, has had an absolutely outstanding session. Some awesome carp there, and also uh, a, a PB common carp for him. Um, I think it was 28 pound 10 ounces, so absolutely outstanding fish. And myself, um, I have had another little bite this morning. Um, I didn't film it. I, I think I was too blown away with the fact that um, I'd had such another awesome fish. But yeah, this, this was £26.10. Um, that was under that dead tree um, that I was telling you about to the left hand side of the margin. So um, peg 20, fishing to 21. Um, so yeah, that, that's the, the first bite I've had off of there, but uh, very, well, very welcome and awesome fish. And uh, yeah, four 20s, um, a 20, a 26, 27, and a 29 at Burfield. Um, easily my favorite session I've ever had. Um, what, what, what was, although I had the fish, first fish quite early on, there was a long gap between fish and uh, you know, I feel like I've really put the work in, kind of coming up and down this bank, feeding them, um, seeing seeing if there's any fish in there, um, and nicking a couple of fish that way. And I feel like I've put the work in. I've 
absolutely enjoyed this um, so much. Um, it's just been the perfect session really. Um, so I can't think of a better way than to end it now really. Well, you know what I mean, it's still got a rod in, so you never know, something else might happen. But yeah, absolutely fantastic session. Can't wait to get back down here. And uh, once again, Burfield Blue Pool, thank you very much. Bye-bye.